Having traveled over halfway around the world, the Dragon ships finally arrived on the east coast of America. The newly transformed Marcus Hook facility is now fully operational and the ships are now able to pick up their new cargo. It's a really exciting day today. The project's been working now for four to five years. We've got to the point now the first shipment's going to move. Really exciting for everyone on this project, for the whole of Vinny Austin for our future. The journey begins 300 miles inland in West Pennsylvania. The Appalachian Basin holds some of the world's largest shale deposits. Following years of research, exploration company Range Resources found a way to safely extract the natural gas through hydraulic fracturing with minimal effect on the environment. Over the course of 2011 and 12, Range made a commitment to move toward 100% recycling of our produced water in the Marcellus Shale. We have the ability to basically utilize all of our production brine right back into these fracturing operations, but really can cut down on any fresh water that we might utilize as supplement source for our water needs. This was to be the source of Ineos's ethane feedstock. As part of a 15-year agreement with US oil company Sunoco, construction of a new pipeline was put in place to transport the gas to the coast. Known as the Mariner East Project, a new pipeline will transport 70,000 barrels of ethane and propane a day to its Marcus Hook facility west of Philadelphia. An almost derelict oil and gas processing site on the banks of the Delaware River, Marcus Hook was on the verge of being shut down after more than 100 years. The refining industry in Philadelphia was, uh, was in peril. But with a deal agreed to supply Ineos with ethane for the foreseeable future, investment followed and work began on building a new terminal and state-of-the-art tank to cryogenically store the gas. What I find very exciting about this partnership with Ineos is it really underpins the future of this facility and to see that it will maintain its status and really underpin the growth uh, and the economic stimulus of this area for years to come. Three years after the project began, the site has been transformed. Today, when you come into Marcus Hook, it's a completely different story. We, we joke about the fact that, uh, you know, it's hard to find a table in, in the local restaurants for lunch around here because there's so much activity, uh, hundreds, if not thousands, of contractors that are working here at Marcus Hook as part of the, the, the ongoing redevelopment of the site. That redevelopment meant that the terminal facility was completed, and upon their arrival, the first ships were docked and loaded with ethane. Today we stand here in bright sunshine in Marcus Hook and uh, this morning the vessel completed loading the 14,500 tons of ethane. So it is a remarkable and actually historic day, I must say. With the first of the eight ships now en route, focus shifts to their destinations over three and a half thousand miles away.